If you are into hiking, you probably already know what this thing is. But in case you don't, it's the Sawyer Mini water filter, which according to Amazon is the second most popular water filter right now. I've owned the Sawyer Mini for about a year now, and it's my go-to water filter whenever I'm hiking. Essentially, this allows me to never carry more than one or two liters of water, regardless of how long my trip actually will be. But before we begin, we have a more in-depth review on our site hikemudge.com with all the buying options. You can find the link to the full article in the description below. Also, if you want to skip to a specific part in this video, pause the video right here to see the table of contents. But for now, let's get right into the review. First, let's quickly cover what the Sawyer Mini can do and what it can't. The Sawyer Mini is a hollow fiber membrane 0.1 micron water filter. According to their specification, it filters 99.99999% of all the harmful bacteria and other particles that are larger than 0.1 microns. What it doesn't filter though is viruses, heavy metals, pesticides and chemicals. What this means in real life is that whenever you're hiking you should look for a natural source of water just like this one that hasn't been contaminated with chemicals or waste. For instance, uh, safe sources could be a puddle, a river, a lake or something along those lines. Basically anything that isn't near a factory or a large city. In terms of taste and color, the Sawyer Mini removes all taste from green matter, bacteria and dirt. If the water source is heavy in metals or minerals, it will still look a bit darker than usual after filtering and also taste a bit different, but the water is still safe to drink. Another thing is that the Sawyer Mini can filter up to a hundred thousand gallons of water before it needs to be replaced. I can basically guarantee that you won't filter that much water in your lifetime, so this thing will last a long time. The Sawyer Mini kit comes with the water filter itself, a syringe for back flushing the filter, a straw attachment for the filter, and a 16 ounce or 500 milliliter pouch. In addition to the original kit, I purchased a set of three 32 ounce or one liter Sawyer pouches. That's because the original 500 milliliter pouch was too inefficient for me. Whenever I'm hiking, I usually carry two one liter Sawyer pouches for contaminated water and one one liter bottle for clean water, so three liters in total. For this system, I recommend getting additional pouches, though you don't need to use the original Sawyer pouches. The Sawyer Mini can be used with any bottle or pouch that has a standard 28 mm thread. I just found that the Sawyer pouches were a pretty good deal because you get three one liter pouches for about 15 bucks. The Sawyer Mini has two ends on it. The first one is for contaminated water and the second one is for clean water. You can quickly distinguish between both by looking at the arrow in the middle which points to the water flow direction. The first thing that you need to do is select a water source. I usually prefer to use cleaner water sources such as springs or rivers, but you can also use a puddle, a lake or something similar. For instance, here I'm in a middle of a swamp and this is a pretty clear water source. The next step is to actually collect some water. You do that by filling the water pouches with contaminated water. I found that it's much easier to fill these pouches in fast flowing water, but you can also use them in still water sources such as this one. One tip is to use your mouth to blow up the pouch before attempting to fill it up just like this. Just be sure to clean the cap off first if the water source is very contaminated because you don't want any bacteria to get inside your mouth. After you've filled the pouches with water, the next step is to start filtering the water. You do that by screwing on the water filter to the water pouch, turning it upside down and gently squeezing the water filter. That's basically it, but there are a few other ways that you could use this water filter. The first one is to drink directly from the water filter. I usually do that whenever I'm near a water source for drinking as much water as I can before leaving. Another way is to skip the pouch entirely and use the straw attachment for drinking directly from the water source. Another way is to use gravity feed systems. You can attach one end of a hose directly to the contaminated end and the second one to a larger water container that's on top. Personally, I haven't tried these systems because they take up more space and I like to keep it on the lighter side whenever I'm hiking. And now let's perform a simple test. Let's see how well the Sawyer Mini performs with a very, very contaminated water source. 
I'll just quickly grab some water over here. I'll pour the dirty water in this glass over here. So you can see how dirty is it. And now, let's filter the rest of the water in the second glass. So I just finished filtering the water and it looks like the color hasn't changed. It might be some minerals in the water that the filter doesn't filter out. However, the one on the left looks much, much clearer than the one on the right. Now I'm going to go ahead and drink it. Okay, so now let's see how well... Oh, what's that? Okay, so now let's test how well does this water taste. It doesn't smell like anything. It tastes just like water. It just, it feels weird drinking yellow water. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, so yeah, a solid eight. <laughs> if you're new to water filters, I'll quickly explain what back flushing is and why you need to do that. Essentially, whenever you're filtering water, all the dirt gets trapped inside the filter. After using the filter for a while, you'll notice that the flow rate of the filter starts to decline. That happens because it's clogged up and you need to backwash it. If you'll be filtering clean water, then I'd say that you need to backflush the Sawyer Mini about once every 10 liters. But if you're filtering very dirty water sources with much dirt and much larger particles, then you'll need to backflush it more often. I'd say about once every one to three liters. Personally, I backflush it after every use to keep the flow rate as fast as it can be. To backflush the Sawyer Mini, you need to fill up the syringe with clean water, press it tightly against the clean end of the filter, and then flush the filter with as much force as you can. You need to repeat that about three to five times, and then I'd say that the filter is pretty clean. After you're done, you need to get most of the water out from the filter. You do it like this. Use as much force as you can until there's no water coming out. And now let's talk about the flow rate of the Sawyer Mini. When I went online, I saw that a lot of people managed to filter one liter of water with the Sawyer Mini in about 90 seconds. For me, the best flow rate that I could achieve was one liter in every two minutes. However, to achieve a good flow rate, simple back flushing isn't enough. After about six months of using this filter, I noticed that the flow rate was becoming pretty bad, even with back flushing after every use. I measured that at that point, the flow rate was about one liter of water in every five minutes. I found out on their website that Sawyer actually recommends cleaning the filter with hot water and vinegar every once in a while to restore a good flow rate. So I went ahead and boiled up some water, added a little bit of vinegar, about one fifth of the hot water, and left it in there for about one hour. After that, I backflushed the filter with the hot water and repeated the process one more time. After this, my flow rate improved drastically, from about 5 minutes per liter to 2 minutes per liter. I guess there was some sort of mineral buildup inside the filter, and the regular backflushing just wasn't enough. I've been using the Sawyer Mini for a while now, so now I'll go over some tips that I've gained over this time on using this water filter. First of all, let's talk about the pouches. I actually managed to burst the 500ml pouch after about 5 or 10 uses. I was just filtering some water and suddenly the seam near the top burst open and the pouch was basically done. Later I found online that this is pretty common with Sawyer pouches. I also learned that you shouldn't put that much pressure on the pouch. Since then I haven't burst any more pouches. You should squeeze them only tight enough to get a good flow rate and then stop because more pressure won't improve the flow rate. Personally I've found that it's very easy to filter water when the pouch is folded once in the middle. When you filter most of the water from the pouch and it's getting harder to squeeze, instead of folding it more times, unscrew the filter, blow some air in the pouch and screw the filter back on. Another tip is that the Sawyer Mini shouldn't be used in freezing weather. 
On their website, they say that the Sawyer Mini needs to be replaced if frozen. So if you'll be using it in the winter, you should always keep it in your pocket so your body temperature keeps it from freezing. Another thing that you should remember is that the flow rate isn't as good right from the start. The flow rate gets better once the filter is wet. Sawyer has said that the best flow rate is achieved only once you've already filtered about one liter of water. So my advice would be to stay patient and wait for the flow rate to improve, instead of squeezing the pouch harder right from the get-go. Otherwise the pouch will just burst. Also for better flow rate, try to use the filter in cleaner water sources and try not to stir up the water whenever you're filling up the pouches. And lastly, you should get a smart water bottle. I don't live in the US and we don't have them here, but I found a very similar bottle in a local store. It's good because the cap uses the same standard thread as the filter, so you can theoretically use one bottle for dirty water and one for clean water, and skip the pouches altogether. Another benefit is that the hole in the middle of the cap is just the perfect size for the clean end of the water filter to go in, which means that you can just pop the filter in and the bottle isn't going anywhere. If you'll be using smart water bottles instead of pouches, get a cap with a hole in the middle for your clean water bottle and a regular cap for your dirty water bottle. And now let's get into my final verdict on the Sawyer Mini water filter. Let's start with the pros. First of all, it's very inexpensive. I purchased the full kit for about $20 and I spent additional $15 for the three larger one liter pouches. Another one is that the whole system is very lightweight and very tiny. I also enjoyed the versatility of the Sawyer Mini. You can use it as a life straw, drink straight from the bottle, you can use it as a gravity feed system, you can use it with regular bottles or you can use it tr the traditional way with the Sawyer pouches. But now let's get into the cons. First, I don't like that it needs to be backflushed so often. Second, I think that the flow rate could be improved. I know that the Sawyer Squeeze has a better flow rate and that many filters from other brands have even better flow rates. And lastly, the pouches could be more durable. If you're using them gently, then yeah, they'll be okay, but if you aren't patient, it's very easy to burst them. In general, I think that this is a very good and a very versatile water filter, but there are a few annoying parts about it. I guess I love it and hate it at the same time. <laughs> anyway, I hope this video was helpful to you and you'll find the full review and the buying options in the video description. Also, if you liked this video, make sure to subscribe for more videos just like this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.